National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. It can hold over 82,000 fans, and every one of those seats is filmed for this one. As our coverage of the NFL brings us to MetLife Stadium. Hello, everybody. Alongside Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And, Brock, let's dive right in. What are you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, just about everything, Kate. But these are two such evenly matched teams. You and I know there's going to be two, three, four plays in this game that will likely define the outcome. That is the beauty of the NFL each and every weekend, each and every Thursday and Sunday and Monday night. They come down to a couple plays. Who will they be? What will they be? When will they be? Tune in and watch. Here's Graham Gano out for the opening kick. And away we go from East Rutherford. Here's Cavante Turpin on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing him out, coming off one of his best seasons as a pro, an MVP runner-up finish in year number nine, Dak Prescott. I don't think I'm alone in this, Kate. To me, Dak is one of the easiest players to root for their success in the NFL. I think for me and for many others, it's based on all he's overcome, from tough playoff losses to significant injuries. But his leadership, his stats, his ability to play like an MVP in big moments, at his best, he really is all you could ever ask for. This drive will begin with a run from Elliott. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. And the slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down, here's Dak. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Second and four. Got Lamb, and it's complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. From the gun is Prescott. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. On second down, run with Elliott. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Prescott now on third down. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. So it'll be another first and ten for him, Brock, down at the opposing 37. 
Elliott running out of the gun. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. Second and six coming up here. Once again, Elliott. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead they move the chains, and that is one disheartening look on that defense. Here's Prescott, first and ten. Catch made by Cooks. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. Oh, they're going to run the option in the short side. And not much for him there. He's down to the 15-yard line. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. I could promise you that's not what it looked like on the practice field nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. Oh, my. Oh, my. It's intercepted in the end zone. Jason Pinnock picks it. Not a lot of one-play swings bigger than that one right there. That throw looked destined for six, and instead, it gets intercepted by the defense. The only way to get bigger is if he somehow returned it 100-plus yards for six the other way. But what a gigantic swing of emotion. So out come the Giants. Their first drive of the game coming up. Leading them out in his sixth NFL season since being picked sixth overall, Daniel Jones. Well, the first year of Daniel Jones' new big contract didn't go the way anyone wanted to in New York. The team struggled to a 1-5 start, and an ACL ultimately ended Daniel's season. Remember, before he got that contract, it was his legs, it was his athleticism, it was his movement play that really led the Giants forward. Can he get back to that off that knee injury? We'll all be watching this season. Jones on first down. Complete to Hyatt. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, it's Jones to throw. That one is caught, left side of the field. Excellent pick up to move the chains, 36 yards in the end. Now right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom, connect on a big shot and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. They'll run it with Devin Singletary. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and 10. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Operating from the gun, it's Jones. Able to hit Robinson, complete. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. From the shotgun, it's Jones. And down he goes. The Cowboy defense gets it done. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. 
I think his decision making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. This QB could run, and he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet, but there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. On fourth down, we'll see Graham Gano lead the Giants field goal unit out. On the left hash, this will be from 50. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that one's going to get them on the scoreboard. The wind was at a sales cape, and it certainly helped that football fly true and right down the middle. And from that distance, to hit with that accuracy is one impressive shot. ready to send this away on the return here's Rico Dowdle now bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33 back out come the Cowboys for their second drive they threw the interception on their opening drive Brock but that's right from their memory as they head back out now yeah it's got to be right when you throw that pick early you've got to flush with the defense help with that Holding that offense on the other side to just a field goal and giving this offense now some hope as they take the field again. Ball at the 33 for first down. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Throw complete to Lamb. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Elliott straight ahead. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. No gain on the play, and it leaves them with third and five. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. So now here's third and five. Dak now from the gun. To the ground it goes. That's incomplete. The intended target there was CeeDee Lamb. And that leaves them with fourth and five. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two in third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, the coach wants to see them convert those. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he's got this fair catch right along the 12-yard line. So no return on that punt. And it'll be Giants football. The Giants taking the field for their second possession. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. They're out and set. First and ten. Working from the gun. Here's Jones. Hyatt with the grab. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And with third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Second down run by Singletary. That's good room at the 35. And he's all the way up to the 41. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And it's good enough for a New York first down. One quarter down for these two NFC East teams. Just three to nothing is our score. We'll get back to East Rutherford after this.
Welcome back. We'll begin this second quarter with the Giants in possession. They've got first and ten here, looking to add to their lead. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Second and three now. From the 48. Working across the field, complete. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. Here's first and 10 from the 34. And off running left. Here's Singletary. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Play fake. Jones. Pass is cut at the nine. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. The Giants make it a nine-point advantage. Malik Neighbors with a touchdown. So Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Graham Gano to tack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. ready to send this away. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. They'll get this drive started, first and 10. On the option, it's Elliott. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Right back to Elliott now. And he'll take this up to about the 34 before he stopped. Call it a gain of six, and they need only two now on third down. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to. Because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. On the toss, here's Elliott. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Oh, that vision he has when he gets into space like a chess master. Seeing multiple moves ahead of time. He knows who's going to attack and at what angles. And he maneuvers his way through before someone can finally get to him. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. 
Play action, Prescott. Ooh, almost the throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They run it from the gun with Elliott. And they bring him down around the 34. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Running the counter, Elliott. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. We'll pause now for an injured player, and it looks like he's worse for wear after handling that last carry. Offense to the line for second down. Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. It's taken in by Lamb. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Prescott here from the gun. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll bring it back to within a score. The lead seven. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Gunnar Oshesky now to return. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Giants and Daniel Jones making their return to the field now. They threw it the whole way down the field on their last drive, and they'd welcome the same level of play on this series as well. They've got first down from the 31. They'll start the drive with Singletary. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. To throw. Here's Jones. And down he goes. The Cowboy defense gets it done. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. That sure ended up being a worst case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play.
So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Throwing from the gun here. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. The Giants ready to punt, and they're going to send out the lefty, Jamie Gillen, for the kick. And he drives it towards the other end of the field. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And the Cowboys will take over with some excellent field position. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. First down, here's Dak. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Hey, Kate, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game when Pete Carroll was there. If he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And they bring him down around the 34. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. So it's the two-minute warning here from MetLife. The Cowboys in possession. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Now deck to throw. Throwing deep for the end zone. And this is going to end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing again is Dak. Here's one left side. He's got a complete pass. They get 22 on that one. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. From the red zone now. And he makes the catch on the sideline. Oh, but they call it out of bounds. This close to six. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Dak throwing again. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys earn the chance to tie before halftime. So the offense showing a, a slightly different dimension there, Brock, getting the running back involved with his hands for the touchdown. Yeah, such an advantage. I think when you think about it, Kate, it really is about the 80s where we start to see these running backs not just tote the ball as runners, but be real weapons when they get the ball in the passing game. Yeah. That's well done. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. 
And we're all knotted up. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. The Giants about to get to work on offense. They're getting close to a minute to play, Brock, and they're going to need that time with a long field ahead. They've got first down from the 31. Jones looking to throw. Finds Hyatt. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Giants using their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Throwing here, Jones. To the left side, and it is caught. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He finds 37 yards on the play to move those chains. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. The Giants moving quickly. They're in the hurry up here. First down throw by Jones. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you've got to count on those being efficient and effective. Second and 10 now. Jones flushed out of the pocket. Timeout Cones, and that's going to be the second for New York. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown, New York! The Giants take the lead just before halftime. Malik Neighbors with a touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Gano for the PAT. That one right down the middle, and they'll continue adding to their lead. ready to send this away. Returning it from the four. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Cowboys are ready to go on offense a final time in this first half. And with field position and the clock against them, 
Probably not going to see anything of substance here before halftime. They've got first down here, but just 18 seconds to work with. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. That's going to bring us to the end of this first half of football with the Giants holding things down in East Rutherford. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from quarterback Daniel Jones. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Fielded at the 7. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Giants are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. They go play fake with Jones. Connection made on the cross. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. Yeah, I love that effort. Adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch. And it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. So a massive gain. And all of a sudden, we've got first and 10 inside the red zone. Operating from the gun, it's Jones. This throw is cut. And he will score. It's a New York touchdown. The Giants grow the lead coming out of halftime. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Gano for the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. ready to send this away. This return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Offense headed back out there now for Dallas. Their work really cut out for him now, partner, to follow up that touchdown and get things back to a one-score game.
Drive starts out with a first and ten. Off the play fake, it's Prescott. Over the middle, caught. Complete pass. 16 yards on the play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Got a man open, left side complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They're set up at the 35 now. They'll run here on first down. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the gun is Prescott. Falls to the ground out left, incomplete. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite hang on. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Dak now from the gun. Taking a big shot for the end zone. And they can't connect on the third down deep shot. Love the courage they had to try it. But it's incomplete, and now we've got fourth down. I like that, Kate. That's going to keep a defense honest. That proves that they're not afraid to take a shot on any given snap. And with enough looks, eventually, one's going to hit. This kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that'll get him back to 11. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all his concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Giants ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now an inside give to Singletary. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. On the shotgun, it's Jones. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them, along with everybody else. All right, Cowboys showing nickel set third down. It's Singletary off the option. And he'll go down, and we'll see right at the 39-yard line. Pick up a five on that play. 
And the Giants will have a first down. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball. But a third down run for a first down can be so demoralizing to that defense. He puts some power on a deep one left. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. And that makes it second down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Working from the gun, here's Jones. Finds his target, Robinson. And he'll get it up to the 44. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. You got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Third and four coming up now. He gets it out left, and it's caught. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. Another drive coming up for this Dallas offensive unit. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. They've got first down from the 31. They put a receiver in motion right. Okay, and the wide receiver is going to get it to begin the drive. And the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Assignments were tested, and they were ready for it defensively. That's an excellent stop at the line. And it's going to make this offense seriously question revisiting that call. Second and ten now. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. It began at the 30 and has now jumped to first and 10 all the way down inside the red zone. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And they're going to bring him down after he drives it down to the seven. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Prescott here from the gun. The bat grabs it. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Call it no gain that time, and they'll have second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You've learned so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line, and the defense, well, they did the job on first down. More to come. Another chance for it. And he is into the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys shrinking the lead some in the third. Well, we've been saying it for years, Brock. If at first you don't succeed, try, try that run again. You're exactly right. It's going to take more than one stop to deter those offensive coaches from calling another run play. They've got such faith in their group up front to leverage right at the point of attack and punch it in on the second time around. The Cowboys offense remains on the field.
the field. They're going to line up and go for two here. He's throwing for it. And the conversion is no good as that pass falls incomplete. That is a gold star effort by the defense. First and foremost, you got to defend against the run on this short of a field. To do that and adapt in time to force an incompletion, that's a win-win. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. Now here comes the New York offense. They've certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them, so they could really use some more points on this drive. They're out and set, first and ten. Now they'll throw out of the gun. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So it's second down coming up. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here's Jones. Into the hands of neighbors. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. On first down, it's Jones to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Looking for Malik Neighbors that time. And it sets up second down. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. From the gun, a carry by Singletary. And this is a nice gain that stopped at the 47. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. And the Cowboys bringing on an extra DB here. Third down coming. Jones. Got a man. Robinson has it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Jones on first down. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They give up the gut to Singletary. And they're able to haul him down. And that's going to wrap up this third quarter. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's the Giants with the ball, trying to close out what would currently be a win. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Here's Singletary again. And he'll make his way down to the 16-yard line. 
Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Pressure comes. Jones splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Here's Singletary. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up Look to the sideline in his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Throwing here, Jones. Into traffic, complete. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. So now, here's third and goal. Jones now to throw. That one's incomplete in the end zone. That throw doesn't lead to six. And now it's decision time on fourth and goal. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. This one of the biggest moments of the game for Graham Gano. This just a 26-yarder down the middle. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one-score ball game. Kate, it's three more on the scoreboard, but both sides really know it's all about one one possession here in the fourth quarter when it really matters. Good now, we're ready to send this away. Fielded at the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Cowboys offense headed out there. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. First down, here's Dak. That's Lamb running the slant. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Called in by Lamb, right side. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Give him three on that game. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Elliott's on first and 10. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign where they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second and six coming up here. Once again, Elliott. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five.
Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. Flush out, trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. We've learned how valuable sacks and a pass rush are in today's NFL. It's a bit surprising, isn't it, Kate, that that's their first sack of the game? But they found other ways to produce success on both sides of the ball. And they finally pick up a much-needed sack on that stat sheet. Dallas sends its punting unit onto the field. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. Got 49 on his first punch. This one looks even longer. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The home team's headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Give to Singletary from the gun. And he's brought down after getting this up across the 15. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They'll stick with Singletary. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short gain. Give him two on the run. That's going to set him up with third and four. They're looking to throw. To the left sideline, complete. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And it's good enough for a New York first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They'll run it with Singletary. And he's not going to get anything, as that brings us to the two-minute warning. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. It's a give to Singletary. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time. 1.55 to go. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Back to throw it. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. So they're left facing a fourth down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And this is the punt you want every time. He bounces out of bounds and sticks him inside their own 10. The Cowboys about set to take over. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. Drive starts out with a first and 10. to throw he goes back to him yet again complete and he's tackled after gaining a handful 
Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Keeping that pace going as the clock continues to run. Here he is to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now Dallas is going to call its second timeout. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. Looking to throw it. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate. On shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball, and it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. Now to throw. He completes it in traffic. And this one doesn't go far. I'll tell you this, you don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Throwing now. That one is caught left side of the field. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. To the line for a new set of downs, only a lone timeout at their disposal. Back to throw. Down he goes. The Giants got to him. Final timeout taken by the Cowboys. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. to the line they go it's second down setting up to pass brought in but it's on the turf the ball's out he lost it and it's picked out by the Giants and they limit the damage on the return but it is still a turnover well sure you're looking to try to get a first down on second down you're trying to create a manageable third down but I'll tell you what you're not trying to do ever is give the ball away and that's what the offense does to the defense right there the home teams and Malik neighbors set to go to work again that defensive stand might have been the final effort needed to seal away the victory Brock but can't quite take off the pads just yet offense has to finish this one out yeah a few things here Kate's keep in mind right you gotta slow the game down as a quarterback take every second off the clock if you're handling the ball you guard it with your life and you make sure your defense doesn't come on the field again. They just did. So we have a pause here inside two minutes. All reviews come from the booth, and they want to take one more look. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy's screaming something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. So the nice defensive play, all for not. He was down first, no fumble. So near disaster a moment ago, but the drive's still in trouble if they can't convert on third. Throw complete to Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds just a yard or two short of that 25. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Here he is to throw. Trying to push it deep downfield. Deflected. Oh, but it couldn't bring it off the tip drill, though. They had the chance they wanted, Brock, but no, that's how this one's going to end. So the Giants come away with the win.
And there was no easing off. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.